His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Frederick the Tenth of Denmark following his accession to the throne. His Majesty the King wished His Majesty King Frederick the Tenth success in continuing Denmark's progress march following in the footsteps of Her Majesty Queen Margarete the Second to achieve the ambitions and aspirations of the Danish people. His Majesty also expressed pride in the deep-rooted historical relations between the two kingdoms, affirming Bahrain's keenness to develop them in all fields and at all levels to achieve common interests. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, in the presence of His Majesty's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at Safriya Palace the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who introduced to His Majesty the King the Royal Guard team on the occasion of their victory in the Royal Rumble Boxing Championship, which was held recently and was organized by Bahrain Boxing Federation in cooperation with Bahrain Rugby Club after beating the British Army's parachute unit. His Majesty the King congratulated the Royal Guard team members and thanked them for the honorable sports achievement, which deserves appreciation and merits being added to Bahrain's achievement record in various sports games. His Majesty hailed the team's outstanding performance and their determination that resulted in winning the title. His Majesty wished them success in their upcoming participation to make further achievements for Bahrain. His Majesty also hailed the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs and chairman of the STYS, His Highness uh, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Khalid in developing the sports and youth sector. He praised the dedication of all Bahrain's athletes who spared no efforts to raise Bahrain's status in all sports events. For his part, His Highness uh, Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his support of the sports movement, which resulted in many achievements for Bahraini sports, including the Royal Guard team's victory in the Royal Rumble Boxing Tournament, which was the result of His Majesty's support to athletes, which led to achievements and successes. His Highness also thanked His Majesty for welcoming the team and motivating them, which will have an impact in encouraging them to continue succeeding and making honorable achievements for the kingdom. The Royal Guard boxing team has left a clear mark in boxing rings and placed Bahrain on the world map of boxing. The National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Royal Guard Special Force Commander, Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, worked hard to create a suitable environment for the youth to innovate and excel in many sports fields, most notably the Royal Guard boxing team, which demonstrated that Bahraini sporting achievements have become a source of pride and honor for the kingdom at the regional and international levels. One of the most prominent achievements of the team is its participation in the Royal Rumble boxing tournament, which was held under the patronage and in the presence of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad. In the tournament, the Royal Guard boxing team was able to defeat the British team and succeeded in dominating the competitions by achieving eight victories in nine fights and thus winning the tournament. The Kingdom of Bahrain has succeeded in charting its way to the top in many sports by regulating sports fields, establishing technical and administrative institutions, and developing plans and programs that ensure the continuous training and qualification of creative Bahrainis to achieve their highest levels of excellence. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Frederick the Tenth of Denmark following his accession to the throne. His Royal Highness wished His Majesty King Frederick the Tenth success in continuing Denmark's progress and development following in the footsteps of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth the Second uh, to achieve the aspirations of the Danish people. He expressed pride in the deep-rooted relations between the two kingdoms, affirming Bahrain's commitment to developing its ties with Denmark in a manner that benefits both countries and their people. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Khadibia Palace. The cabinet highlighted its commitment to implementing the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to provide humanitarian aid to the Palestinian people in the dire humanitarian conditions they are facing. This reflects the kingdom's steadfast position of supporting the people of Palestine and their legitimate rights to an independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital. The cabinet noted the national campaign of Day of Solidarity with Our People in Gaza. We are with you, which was launched under the patronage of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, Hassanah Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The campaign, which raised over 60 million Bahraini dinars, showcased the solidarity of the people of Bahrain with the Palestinian people. The cabinet further noted the efforts of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation and their ongoing coordination with allied countries to deliver humanitarian aid to the Palestinian people. The cabinet highlighted the importance of the partnership agreement signed by the members of the Higher Committee for Integral Industrial Partnership for Sustainable Economic Development and the announcement uh, that the projects have a, com a combined value estimated at 2.2 billion US dollars during the committee's fourth meeting hosted by Bahrain. In this regard, the cabinet welcomed Morocco's announcement of joining the Integrated Industrial Partnership for Sustainable Economic Development, which was signed by the Ministers of Industry of the five member states. The cabinet stressed the importance of unifying efforts towards de-escalation to secure regional security and peace, ensuring the protection of international maritime navigation and the safety of civilians, while also guaranteeing the security and interests of countries from attacks on international maritime navigation. The cabinet then discussed and approved the following memorandums. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects regarding government agencies' commitment to service level agreements for responding to consultations which contributes to accelerating urban planning and development services. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on a draft law amending some provisions of the Commercial Companies Law. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on a draft licensing decree amending the Articles of Association of Bobco Energies and a closed Bahraini joint stock company. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture regarding the acquisition of two properties that will be used for the public benefit of urban development. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's response to two proposals and a law submitted by the Representatives Council. The Cabinet also reviewed the following. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Community Services regarding labor market indicators for 2023, which showed that 29,533 Bahraini citizens have benefited from employment opportunities during 2023, which exceeded the Economic Recovery Plan's annual goal to employ 20,000 Bahrainis by 48%. The cabinet thanked all private sector companies and institutions that contributed to employing Bahrainis in 2023. The report also showed that 11,078 citizens were trained during 2023, which exceeded the Economic Recovery Plan's annual goal of training 10,000 Bahrainis by 11%. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs regarding the performance of government agencies in the Sijilat, Tawasul and Binayat systems from January to December 2023 compared to the same period during the year 2022. This contributes to achieving higher levels of efficiency and productivity, enhancing the quality of government services provided to citizens and supporting commercial and investment activities in Bahrain. In addition, the Cabinet noted the following ministerial reports. 
outcomes of Bahrain's participation in the Hajj and Umrah Services Conference and Exhibition 2024. The official visit of the Minister of Youth Affairs of uh, Kyrgyzstan to Bahrain. The visit of the Minister of Youth Affairs to Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Speaker of the Council of Representatives Ahmed bin Salman Al Musallam and the Shuran Representatives Council Deputies and their Heads of Committees at Ghadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of coordinated and integrated efforts between the executive and legislative authorities, private sector institutions and civil societies. This collaboration has yielded extensive development achievements that benefit the Kingdom and its citizens in line with the comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness noted that the contribution and active involvement of Bahrainis across diverse sectors have played a pivotal role in advancing the kingdom's development. This reflects the essence of Team Bahrain, which stands behind every accomplishment benefiting the kingdom and its people and exemplifies Team Bahrain's unwavering commitment to the kingdom's ongoing development. He praised the efforts that support the aspirations of Bahraini citizens, particularly in bolstering employment opportunities. His Royal Highness underscored the importance of strengthening the executive legislative partnership to foster sustainable growth, economic diversification, and developmental support for the benefit of the kingdom and its citizens. His Royal Highness highlighted the biblical role that the private sector plays in furthering the kingdom's development and expressed appreciation for the joint efforts aimed at creating a conductive environment that fosters quality opportunities for citizens. He underscored the importance of offering and developing quality initiatives and programs in cooperation with the private sector to achieve the kingdom's desired goals. For their part, the Speaker and Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, BCCI, Samir Abdel Nas, expressed their gratitude for the opportunity opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness, noting his support for the Council's ongoing cooperation. They concluded by affirming the commitment to serving the Kingdom and its citizens. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Chairman of BCCI, and several senior officials attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdel Latif Rashid Zayani and several ministry officials and heads of Bahrain's diplomatic and consular missions in commemoration of Diplomatic Day of Bahrain at Ghadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of further building on the Kingdom's relations with its allies through boast or bolstering and bridging partnerships that uphold security and development in line with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's far reaching visions. His Royal Highness noted the influential and constructive role played by the Kingdom's diplomacy throughout its history in advancing Bahrain's interests through its core values of peace, tolerance, dialogue and coexistence as foundations for its international relations. His Royal Highness emphasized that Bahrain diplomacy is the nation's uh, bulwark in that it protects the nation and highlights the achievements and its cultural image in the regional and international arenas. He noted that the Kingdom's diplomacy is a valuable endeavor and national responsibility. His Royal Highness commended the Ministry's efforts in serving citizens abroad, promoting the Kingdom's sovereignty and strengthening relations with its allies per the kingdom's foreign policy and international laws, customs and conventions. His Royal Highness expressed gratitude to the kingdom's diplomatic professionals who continue to perform their national duties in line with international law and on par with the kingdom's desired goals. His Royal Highness noted the kingdom's commitment to further strengthening its diplomatic endeavors which are based on global peace building efforts. For their part, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and senior officials expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and highlighted His Royal Highness's unwavering commitment to supporting the Ministry's efforts to serve the Kingdom and its citizens. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and several senior officials also attended the meeting. Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the STW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, issued Edict 1 of the year 2024, assigning Lulua bin Saleh Al Awadi as Acting Secretary General of the STW. 
The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa received the head of Spatial Planning and Construction Authority Martin Hipke in Slovakia in the presence of the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture Engineer Wa'al Limbarak. The Deputy Prime Minister affirmed Bahrain's keenness to enhance international economic cooperation in various sectors in a manner that contributes to the exchange of expertise and knowledge and the development of systems and technologies in line with the comprehensive development process of His Majesty Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He praised the signing of an MOU between the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture and the Slovak Spatial Planning and Construction Authority. The MOU aims to support and develop cooperation in urban development, landscaping, building and urbanization laws, digitalizing systems and licenses and smart monitoring of the various construction stages. He highlighted Slovakia's pioneering approach to spatial planning and construction, commending the country's efforts to balance economic, social and environmental growth while enhancing quality of life. Hipke also expressed appreciation to the Deputy Prime Minister for his interest and affirmed the, his country's keenness to consolidate cooperation, particularly in higher education, the development of uh, reconstruction and building laws and digitalization systems and licenses. He wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. In the presence of the Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi, the concluding ceremony of the Media Talents Awards 2023 was held. The ceremony witnessed the participation of a number of officials, members of the press and media sector, and enthusiasts. The Minister of Information delivered a speech in which he congratulated the winners of the Media Talent Award 2023, wishing them success in developing their media skills to achieve their professional aspirations and ambitions. He stressed that the award and the accompanying intensive training programs revealed many of the promising media talents and Dr. Naimi expressed thanks and appreciation to Tim Keen, headed by the chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust and chairman of the Tim Keen Board of Directors, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for his support for media initiatives that contribute to the growth and development of the skills of youth caters to contribute to the development efforts in various sectors in the kingdom. He thanked all those in charge of the training program, praising their efforts in providing the participants with professional expertise and skills in fields and techniques of audio visual media to develop their capabilities and qualify them with practical and professional skills and knowledge. Then the Minister of Information honored the winners. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs organized a roundtable entitled The Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement between Bahrain and the U.S. As part of the diplomatic forum, Bahrain's ambassador to the U.S. praised the bilateral relations, expressing Bahrain's pride in the strategic partnership with the U.S. in the defense of security field within the framework of the joint commitment to maintain international peace and security. The ambassador also noted the importance of the Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement, noting that it reflects the two countries' commitment to enhance security and stability in the region. For his part, the Deputy National Security Advisor highlighted the dimensions of the Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs organized a roundtable titled Bahrain's Candidacy for Membership in the Security Council of Vision and Future Steps. As part of the diplomatic forum with the participation of the first Bahraini ambassador to hold the position of the 61st UNGA president, Ambassador Sheikh Hayya bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the former permanent representative of Bahrain to the UN in New York, Ambassador Dr. Jassim Bouallai, and the permanent representative of Bahrain to the UN in New York, Ambassador Jamal Rouai. Ambassador Sheikh Hayya reviewed the role and efforts of the UN in preventing conflict, maintaining international peace and security, and helping the parties to the, to, uh, to the conflict to make peace. Ambassador Bouallai also reviewed his diplomatic experience during his work as the permanent representative. Ambassador Rouai discussed the Security Council reform in his capacity as coordinator of the Arab Group in New York and spoke about Bahrain's nomination for non-permanent membership in the Security Council from 2026-2027. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs held a remote workshop titled Maintaining Security in the Age of Technology as part of the diplomatic forum presented by global data and communication expert Mark Bentley in the presence of heads of diplomatic and consular missions abroad and senior officials of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and heads of sectors and directors at the ministry. The workshop addressed the importance of maintaining cybersecurity in light of the modern technology and clarified the seriousness of non-compliance with cybersecurity controls and the importance of adhering to implementing these controls to ensure the protection of the ministry's data and its missions abroad.
The Ministry of Foreign Affairs held the second session of the diplomatic forum yesterday entitled Building Bridges uh, from Diplomacy to Economic Prosperity with the participation of the advisor to the Board of Directors of the Economic Development Board in the, and in the presence of heads of diplomatic and uh, consular missions abroad and senior officials of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. He expressed delight for the participation praising the role of Bahrain's missions abroad in strengthening economic relations between the kingdom and brotherly and friendly countries and their support to meet common goals and interests. He also presented a comprehensive review of economic indicators, noting that Bahrain enjoys great economic diversity and that non-oil sector represents 83% of the GDP as it continues to advance economic growth. He reviewed the most prominent achievements of the Economic Development Board in 2023, expressing his aspirations to further attract investments during 2024 in priority sectors.